and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a getting ready with me. It's my first one, so I'm kind of nervous. I don't know really how to film these that well, but I did my best to kind of talk to you guys about what's been going on and about a couple products that I wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see how I got this little and you just want to chit chat with me, let's continue on into the video. gonna get started. I'm gonna go ahead and test out the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my skin. And this is supposed to help fill in the pores and blur them out a little bit. And I'm really concentrating this where my nose and underneath my eyes are because that's where the largest pores are. And then just kind of spread it around the rest of the face. Not really used to doing like a chitty chatty get ready with me. This is like the first one that I'm doing, so sorry if I don't know what I'm doing. I guess you're just supposed to be talking. I'm gonna be using my Tarte Tinted BB Treatment Primer, and this is in the shade light. I love using this. It is a 12 hour lasting primer, healthy treatment, buildable coverage, oil free, moisturizer, pore minimizer, and skin brightener. And it's a little more full coverage than most BB creams. I really like that about this BB cream, so to say. I'm gonna be using my MAC 190 flat foundation brush to apply that and then I'm gonna buff it out with another brush. And I did change the setting of the background setting behind me today. I wanted to do something a little different just so I'm not using the same thing all the time constantly. And I am gonna drag this down my neck just because it's a little bit darker than my skin at the moment. So I just did a recent trip with my boyfriend and his friend to San Diego. We went to the Gasland Quarter again, and it's really fun. I like going there. It's kind. It's kind of has that Vegas vibe minus the gambling. So that's why my boyfriend really likes going down there because there's like a lot of bars and like shops all like together. And then the Midway is not too far from it, so it's like walking distance. So we did walk to the Midway. And it was good. The weather was nice. It was way too humid though. It's like. 92% humidity and it was like way too much for my hair. It was like making my hair look as if I like just dipped it in oil or something. I'm just gonna drag this down my neck. I'm gonna use my Morphe E54 flat Kabuki foundation brush just to buff it into the skin. I like doing this just because it gives like a nice airbrush finish to the foundation so it doesn't look too like cakey. Now I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair Neutral. I really love using this concealer. I'm just gonna use brush number four from the BH Cosmetics to kind of help blend it out, and then I'm gonna blend it out a little more using my Beauty Blender. And this is a full coverage concealer, and it's one of my favorites. So I'm just going to use my brush to start blending that out, and then I'm going to use my sponge to blend it out even more. And you want to do this quickly because if you let it set for too long, it starts to like dry and then it's harder to spread the product around. So I am going to be doing my giveaway for YouTube once I hit a thousand subscribers. So I just hit 700 recently and I just want to thank you guys so much for all the amazing support. It seriously means a lot to me. You guys are seriously amazing and we're so close to 1,000 subscribers and I just don't know like how to like thank you enough without saying thank you like so many times. Thank you, seriously. It really means a lot. So to enter my YouTube giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed to me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. It's that simple. And of course, I will be checking to see if you're following me on both before I pick the winner. You have to respond in a, a decent amount of time. If you don't respond, then I have to pick another winner, basically. So we're about 300 away. I am going to be doing shoutouts in the meantime until we get to our goal. So every 100th person, I'm going to be doing a shout out on my Instagram. I was wanting to do more shout outs too. Maybe for every thousandth person on my Instagram, I'll 
do a shout out as well because I want to do another giveaway at 10,000 followers on my Instagram for you guys. So I'll have to like figure that out how I want to go about that. I'm still trying to decide what product products I want to put into my YouTube giveaway. So if you have any ideas, please put in the comments down below what you guys want and to see in my YouTube giveaway. And then I'm just going to blend the edges in a little more so it's not so kinky. I'm not a huge fan of these sponges from the Ulta collection. They're just a little too soft, so they don't do a very good job at blending in my foundation. The way I want it to, like a, an actual beauty blender would. I'm wanting to get the one from Morphe. The specific sponge that I want is sold out because Jaclyn Hill had mentioned it in her first impressions of video, so that's most likely why it's sold out. But I was really wanting it because it's like super precise and everything. I'm just gonna have to wait my turn. So I have to make this make do. It just takes a whole lot longer to blend and everything. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my RCMA translucent powder and use my E48 brush from Morphe. Now I'm just gonna set right where I did my concealer. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Soft and General I'm going to be going in with my MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralize Skin Finish, and it's just gorgeous. It's like a very subtle bronze to the face, and I just love using it for those more natural like days or like when I'm going to work. It's more ideal for those types of situations, or if you just don't feel like getting all kicked up and stuff. So I'm just going to apply it like I would contouring. Alright, so I'm going to contour my nose real quick, and I'm going to be using my E15 Flat Contouring, Small Contouring Brush. I'm going to use the shade 4 Play from the Kat Von D Contour, and I'm just going to use this to contour my nose. And then I go in the shade Lyric, also from the Kat Von D Contour Palette. And this is a banana shade. It's very similar to Anastasia's banana. I'm just going to take this down the middle to brighten that up. And then I'm going to be taking my glow kit from Anastasia. And this is the collaboration with Nicole Gro. And I seriously love this palette. It's so gorgeous. The colors are... Oh, I've been seriously like using this every single day. I just love the fact that it's vegan and it's cruelty free and that just makes my heart happy. And they are sold out. Oh my god. Because I know some of you were wanting me to put this in my YouTube giveaway and I'm just like, shit, like, what do I do? But... Maybe I'll think about the Aurora palette if it doesn't sell out, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. And this is the highlighting brush from BH Cosmetics. Tapered brushes are more for intense highlights versus if we use something like a fan brush. Those are going to give you a more subtle highlight. Well, I'm going to keep it more subtle. So, I feel like dipping into Forever Young. Swirling that in and putting that right there. Oh yeah. Bam. Bam. You see how like intense that gets like so quickly? Oh my lord. Whoa. My Jesus. I was wanting to add lit, forever lit, but I don't even think it's needed today. Just highlighting to the gods. Usually I like to mix a couple shades together, sometimes three, but we're going to stick with one today because it's already intense. Alright, so my camera cut off on me, so depending on where I left off, I'm going to be going in with the shade Sandy. I'm going to be using that for my transition shade, and like I said, this is just going to be like a soft spring look for you guys. So I'm just putting this in my crease, a nice transition. 
like I've said when I first did it, this first impressions on this palette, I've been wanting to try North Star for so long. So I'm going to be using that on my outer corners today just to kind of give it that spring look but keep it simple at the same time. I'm going to be using my MAC 217 brush and it is very similar to the Kylie brush that they put in this palette. I think the MAC hairs are just a slight bit longer. My MAC's just a little bit more clean. So when I'm picking up the North Star, it does have a little bit of a fallout when you're dabbing it in there. I think that's because it's more of a metallic shade. So I'm just gonna put this in my outer corners, see how it looks. I don't like how this shade is working with this brush specifically, so I need to use a different brush to get it to work out better. So I think I'm use my, I'm gonna go back to my blending brush, the E27, just dip into a pot a little bit and see how well that looks. I think I want to add a little bit of crush. It's kind of it's a little bit of a burnt pink. I want to put that on my inner lid very lightly. I don't want it to be like too like. And this one's not a metallic. It has like a little bit of shimmer in it, almost kind of like a frost shadow. But I'm just going to dip into that very lightly. It just seems like I'm having all sorts of like technical problems. First my camera wants to die and now there's not enough memory space. But I'm working on trying to convert everything to my computer. <laughs> but that's gonna be after I film this. I just want to disclose real quick that this video is not sponsored by any means. Beauty Bite had contacted me and they wanted me to test out their app along with some products that they work with. So I have the Lange Curling Wand that they sent me to test out and review for you guys. And seriously, I got it right after my trip from San Diego. When I got back, I had this white in for me at home. So I've been using it ever since and it's been about three weeks that I've been using this product. I wanted to give it some time to really test out the product and there were some things that I had to situate personally. I had to personally situate so that's also why this video was delayed just a little bit but here we are and it's just it's gorgeous. It is this vintage pastel pink that's my favorite color and then it's rose gold up at the top and this is titanium meaning and this is the Andole. Andole. Sorry, I'm really bad at pronouncing names, especially in French. French is probably the worst for me to try to pronounce, but this is the Andule. This is the 1.25 titanium curling wand. Basically, the titanium is supposed to help evenly distribute the heat and give you a professional salon style curl. I've been testing it out to see if it does just that, and it does. I'm just going to be showing you guys how well it works. There's negative ions and infrared heat technology to lock and shine, creating long-lasting waves with this versatile professional tool, and it's best for thicker hair types and for professional use and a heat protectant is recommended. Unfortunately, I ran out of my heat protectant spray, so we're gonna have to make do and just risk it. But I would recommend using a heat protectant spray before going in with any heating tools, whether it's your blow dryer or your straightener or your curling wand, anything. I would recommend using a heat protectant spray before using any heat tools. And for best results, it is better to have like day one hair, meaning you washed it the day before and we're on like day two, I guess. So I actually washed my hair today. It needed to be washed. It was too oily to do the video. So I went ahead and washed my hair, but I blow dried it so that added some texture. And then I'm going to be using the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast to add some more texture to my hair so that it's kind of like day two hair, but it's not. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray this in real quick. And this isn't dry shampoo, it's just a texturing spray. I'm just gonna just that into my hair. And I haven't straightened my hair or anything. So Bite Beauty had contacted me through email and they wanted me to test out their app and pick out a product to test out as well. Basically with this app, you'll post a picture on there and then you'll tag the makeup products that you used for that look. So basically like right here, 
is the makeup products that were tagged and with that you can click on that, that makeup product and I'll take you to where you can buy that directly off the app versus having to go through a million different sites just to get the makeup product that you're wanting or maybe it wasn't listed and you wanted to use that product if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically it makes it easier so that you can purchase the makeup product all in one app versus several apps or several sites. So I think that was pretty cool and you can earn points to go towards your next purchase. So I have about $5 worth to go towards my next purchase and it's just awesome and it also has um, things to keep track of your billing and shipping and your wish, wish list and everything like that. So it's pretty neat and I think that's a pretty creative idea to put those makeup products and be able to clip them from the picture and everything all in one site. So I think that's pretty cool. And and they sent me a discount code for you guys to use. It's not an affiliate code or anything. It's one of their own codes for you to use to purchase. The code is now 30 and that gives 30% off tool and free shipping for in the US. So if you want to purchase your own a lounge, lounge curling wand, I would recommend it because this is really amazing and I've been using this over my newbie wand. Says a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I usually go behind my head and I will split it so that I have an even like half and half. Um, usually I'll go ahead and section it um, in four sections basically and I'll like kind of like tie this off or whatever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pin up that half of this half. And basically I'm just going to take it in nice large sections. We don't need to do it in small sections. And what I love about this size in particular, the 1.25, is that it gives you that kind of beach curl. So it's not like too tight. It's just like the perfect amount of loose, of a loose curl. And I'll just leave it here for about 20 to 30 seconds. And then I'll let it go. And then I won't spray it until afterwards. I just want it to get a little bit more loose. And then there we have our first curl. It's nice, loose, and it's like beachy. So that's what I like about using this one over my Numi wand because it's the perfect size barrel. And I had, I had went to sleep and I slept with my curls and everything. The side that I usually sleep on, it did come out a little bit, but the side I don't sleep on, it stayed throughout the whole night while sleeping. So it's pretty, like it says, it holds the curl very good. The next day I just, I didn't touch up this side, I just barely touched up this side. So it can hold a curl for sure. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to wait ages for me to curl my hair. But I will see you once my hair is all curled up. So this is what it looks like after it's curled. I haven't brushed it yet. I'm gonna go grab my brush and some hairspray and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly brush out my curls a little bit so that it has the nice Just gonna lightly brush that out and it just has this like nice beachy vibes so that's why i really like using this curling one specifically the size specifically as well and i think it's just gorgeous it's my i say it every time but it's my vibes i love it it's gorgeous and it works amazing so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray my hair real quick and i'm just using the suave extreme hold You honestly don't need a lot of hairspray because like I said the titanium and the wand really holds helps hold the curls so you don't need a lot of hairspray to hold your curls. I'm gonna go ahead and leave all the information for the curling wand and the beauty bite app down below. You guys should go check it out. It's really awesome and I think it's a really innovative app for us makeup lovers. So I think you guys would really enjoy it as well. It's very helpful 
in the sense of having everything in one place. So I think that was pretty cool. And I think you guys should check it out too. So I'm going to leave everything down in the description down below for you guys to check out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. It was a little lengthy. But we got through it. And I, I think once I got everything put together, like the lashes and the lips, the eyeshadow looked less horrendous. So I am okay with it now. It looks awesome. And, and I love my hair. So, if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave any comments down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first ever of my Battle of the Boxes.